Okay, let's say that you are either working on a current project or you want to change the colors of one or you're starting from scratch. You can go to the color wheel and endlessly look for colors forever and ever and ever and ever. You can go to your swatches and be stuck with the, the first five that it gives you. Or you can use Adobe Color Themes and start searching for ones that have already been created or working on creating your own. So the first thing you'll need to do is grab your Adobe Color Themes from your window if you don't already have it on the right side. So you'll need to go to Window, Color, and then Adobe Color Themes. And from this, you'll likely start on, a, on the Create button. And the first thing you'll notice on the Create button is a color wheel and five swatches at the top. The items on the color wheel are related to the color mode that you choose. Right now it is set for analogous. You can go through the color rule and you can change all the way down, uh, just like we talked about in our lecture for compound, complementary, shades, etc. You can also go to custom and move this around to whatever color that you want. If you're on one of the predetermined rules, you can grab one and the rest will follow if you grab the middle one. So you can go all the way around and as you're going the swatches above change. So if you get to a point where you really like the set of five swatches, from this dialog you can add this to your swatches. So you would just hit add to swatches from here and then go to your swatches and you will see them in a new color theme at the bottom. You can change the name of that color theme if you think it's something you're going to use often and um, start grabbing from these swatches. So if you have a, a pre-made flyer you can click on your colors and change them like you would any other swatch. Another way that you can utilize color themes is to go into here and you can explore on what others have done. So if you hit explore, you can see some popular swatches that people have made, the ones that are rated, it's, it's by most popular, but you can change it to any of these items, most appreciations, um, most used, random. So as you're scrolling through these, if you find something that you really like, you can hit the three buttons at the bottom and click Add to Swatches. And again, you go to your swatches and it appears at the bottom all the new ones. So again, since it's in your swatch pal palette, you can click any of these items and change all of your text and everything else as you go along. Another thing you, you can do is if you're starting from scratch, let's say I have, I have a photo here that I've added, a logo, and I made a couple shapes. Um, if I want to grab colors from, these image, from this image and that logo, I can create my own theme. So I can use my eyedropper tool, grab a pink, it then changes my fill color, can right click that and hit add to swatches. I can, right now the eyedropper is full, you can see that it's black, I can click off and now it's white and grab another color. So now I have the blue, right click that, hit add to swatches. Unload the eyedropper, fill it up again, right click, hit add to swatches, fill up with the green, right click, hit add to swatches. So if I go over here to my swatches, I now have some colors to choose from from Starbucks. I can put these in a group if I want, so new color group. I'm going to save this as Starbucks. and I'm going to drag and hold down shift and click from the bottom to the top. Drag into Starbucks. So I have five colors here. I can then add it to my CC library. 
And this um, we can talk about over the, the semester, but the CC library, the cool thing about that is if it's some colors that you're going to use over and over again in all of your deliverables, you can grab them from your library to use in everything that you design. So these are colors that I use all the time, but I just added the Starbucks ones and I've got the colors there. You can then go to your library and organize by folder down here. So creating group and add them, adding them into the Starbucks. But uh, going back, so I can go back to my flyer and I can go to my swatches and choose the colors that I just grabbed. So if I want them to be kind of a continuum from the image, it all begins to match. And if you get one, like this one's not perfect, I can grab it again. So I can grab this shape, go to my eyedropper tool and grab the color and it changes slightly. So it's still not perfect. I'm gonna grab my eyedropper tool and click somewhere else in the photo. And you have to keep, you can see every time you click a color, the eyedropper tool fills up. You want to empty it out and fill it up again in various places on the on the image until you get what you're what you're looking for. But either way, each time um, once you do it, you and you like what you 